For my multimedia blog assignment, I'm going to be talking about my different social media habits and how they've changed since being abroad. So first, to go over my social media habits, when I looked in my settings at my most used apps, I noticed that three out of five of them were social media platforms, and this didn't really come to a surprise to me because I do think I spend most of my time on Instagram, TikTok, and Snapchat if when talking about social media. I also use the Messenger and the Photos app a lot, as you can see from the top five. Um, but abroad, I definitely think my social media habits have changed because I'm kind of using it as a platform to learn about places I might be traveling or find different places to go rather than kind of just the aimless scroll that I would do either at home or at school. So to kind of go in further that abroad, I've noticed that I spend much more time on social media when I'm home and at school. And I think that's just a reflection of that I have less to do or I'm busier abroad. Um, obviously in Barcelona, there's so much to do and so much I want to see. So I don't really feel like I'm like drawn to my phone as much kind of sitting there just on Instagram or scrolling through TikTok. Um, Um, so in regards to the use of platforms, I would say the two that I use the most are Instagram and TikTok. And I think I use them for pretty different reasons. I screenshotted two kind of like saved aspects of the apps. On the left, you can see um, my kind of saved page on Instagram. So I use this feature for different food recommendations or like clothing inspiration and I make folders. So I've had places that I'm traveling or will travel to so I can look back and check in on those. And then for TikTok, it's kind of just less organized, more random comedy videos, kind of mindless things that just entertain me. Definitely a variety of genres, um, but I definitely kind of use TikTok to like relax and I don't really think about anything. It's not really a stressful platform versus Instagram can add a bit more stress because there's more pressure to kind of impress or perform. So in regards to my social media contribution while being abroad, from a personal aspect, I've definitely shared a fair share of things that I've been doing or um, seeing. You can see those are two posts that I've posted on Instagram, one from Paris and one from Copenhagen. Um, and I just think it's like an interesting way to express kind of like an art through photography or keep people up to date who might not be abroad, like family members or friends back in the United States. And then, with friends, I've definitely contributed to social media by kind of liking, commenting, interacting with their posts. Um, social media has made it very easy to stay in touch and up to date with my friends in different places because that's definitely been a challenge since coming abroad. I have friends in Copenhagen, friends in Israel, Italy, so kind of all over the place. And it's interesting to see what everyone else is doing and then they can also see what I'm doing. 